God bless everyone. Today is Exodus 20 or Exodus 36, Wednesday, June 10th, 2020, 6 10 20. Yesterday we read Exodus 35 and it says, Moses tells the people of the Sabbath. Moses tells the Israelites about the tabernacle they are to make and the materials they are to use. The altar of burnt offering, the courtyard, and the garments for the priests. The people bring what they have for the materials. Moses tells the people that Bezalel and Oholiab are filled with the Spirit of God, wisdom, understanding, knowledge, all kinds of skills, and the ability to teach others. Alright, that's where we're at. Exodus 36. Exodus 36. And weavers goes into the last one and weavers all of them all of them skilled workers and designers so Bezalel Oholiab and every skilled person to whom the Lord has given skill and ability to know how to carry out all the work of constructing the sanctuary are to do the work just as the Lord has commanded then Moses summoned Bezalel and Oholiab and every skilled person to whom the Lord had given ability and who was willing to come and do the work. Alright, I highlighted under my likes. Every skilled person to whom the Lord had given ability and who was willing to come and do the work. Alright, so I highlighted that because it's like God gives people skills to that will help him do his will. That will help complete his work. And it's, um, and right here it says, and anyone who is willing to come and do the work. So he gives you the skills to, to do the work that is intended for you, but you have the will to do it. You could, you could, um, use your skills that God gave you and you could either use it for the wrong way or to not, to not use it in his will. You have the will to, to either use it to do his will or to do your will. And it's always best to do God's will, so to use your skills wisely, man. You, he gave you skills, and use them the way it was intended to be used. All right. They received from Moses all the offerings the Israelites had brought to carry out the work of constructing the sanctuary. And the people continued to bring free will offerings morning after morning. So all the skilled workers who were doing all the work on the sanctuary left what they were doing and said to Moses, The people are bringing more than enough for doing the work the Lord commanded to be done. Then Moses gave an order and they sent this word throughout the camp. No man or woman is to make anything else as an offering for the sanctuary. And so the people were restrained from bringing more because, the, because what they already had was more than enough to do all the work. All right, so they're bringing, so they're they're being real generous, working hard. So like, they're they're over, what do they call it? Um, they're they're doing more than was expected, which is good, man. So now he's telling them to slow down. They're they're good. The tabernacle. All those who were skilled among the workers made the tabernacle with ten, with ten curtains of finely twisted linen and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, this, uh, with cherubim, with cherubim woven, woven into them by expert hands. All the curtains were the same size, 28 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. They joined five of the curtains together and did the same with the other five. Then they made loops of blue material along the edge of the end curtain in one set. And the same was done with the end curtain in the other set. They also made 50 loops on one curtain and 50 loops on the end curtain of the other set, with the loops opposite each other. 
Then they made 50 gold clasps and used them to fasten the two sets of curtains together so that the tabernacle was a unit. They made curtains of goat hair for the tent over the tabernacle, 11 altogether. All 11 curtains were the same size, 30 cubits long and 4 cubits wide. They joined 5 of the curtains into one set and the other 6 into another set. Then they made 50 loops along the edge of the end curtain in one set and also along the edge of the end curtain in the other set. They made 50 bronze clasps of, to fasten the tent together as a unit. Then they made for the tent a covering of ram skins dyed red, and over that a covering of the other durable leather. They made upright frames of acacia wood for the tabernacle. Each frame was ten cubits long and a cubit and a half wide, with two projections set parallel to each other. They made all the frames of the tabernacle in this way. They made 20 frames for the south side of the tabernacle and made 40 silver bases to go under them. Two bases for each frame, one under each projection. For the other side, the north side of the tabernacle, they made 20 frames and 40 silver bases, two under each frame. They made six frames for the far end, that is, the west end of the tabernacle, and two frames were made for the corners of the tabernacle at the far end. At these two corners, the frames were double from the bottom all the way to the top and fitted into the single ring. Both were made alike. So there were eight frames and sixteen silver bases, under, two under each frame. They also made crossbars of acacia wood, five for the frames on one side of the tabernacle, five for those on the other side, and five for the frames on the west at the far end of the tabernacle. They made the center crossbar so that it extended from end to end at the middle of, of the frames. They overlaid the frames with gold and made gold rings to hold the crossbars. They also overlaid the crossbars with gold. They made the curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen, with cerebium woven into it by a skilled worker. They made four posts of acacia wood for it and overlaid them with gold. They made gold hooks for them and cast their four silver bases. For the entrance of the tent they made a curtain of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn and finely twisted linen, the work of an embroiderer, and they made five, po five posts with hooks for them. They overlaid the top of the posts and their, and their bands with gold and made their five bases of bronze. Alright, that's it for today, but they're getting all the work done that God, God said, and they're doing it happily, man, and, and using all the skills that God gave them. So, But get whatever you can out of these readings. Um, another thing is make time for God, man. Like, like let's say some days um, I'm like, man, I, uh, I try to get out of the reading or try to get out of this, whatever. But it's like, man, you could have, you could make at least... 30 minutes to praise God or to give God glory or to pray or anything. You could, 30 minutes out of your day, you could find 30 minutes to, for anything else. Try to find 30 minutes to pray, meditate, and talk to God. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.